Hi. My baggage wasn't on the carousel. Oh, of course not, ma'am. For that to happen, someone would have had to put it on the plane. I know this isn't your fault. Thank you. But it is somebody's fault. Of course. So I would like to know who that person is. Because every time something bad happens, like a bag doesn't make it on the plane, or an extra charge on my credit card, I wind up saying to the customer service person, hey, I know it's not your fault. Thank you. But at the end of the day, it is somebody's fault. Naturally. So I would like to talk to that person and say, hey, this is your fault. And then they have to say, yes. Yes, it is. Well, that's not me. I know that. Because I work here at the desk. I can see that. So what I'm hearing you say is you'd like to yell. I would like to yell. But you can't yell at me. Because it's not your fault. Thank you. You could yell at this QR code. <sighs> I would like to speak to your supervisor. Oh, Pat didn't do anything. I didn't do anything, but yell at me and see what happens. Well, was it the baggage dude or the conveyor belt lady or the team that takes it from the baggage dude to the conveyor belt lady? Someone here made a mistake and they need to take accountability. Carl, can you come out here, please? It's time to come clean. Thank you. I've been uh, distracted at work lately. My kid's sick. My wife and I have been doing split duty, taking care of her. So when she sleeps, I'm up, and when I sleep, she's up. And uh, raising a child's a full-time job. Then I have this full-time job. And uh, I, I know I'm not at my best right now. But I'm really, really trying. So yeah, I, uh, I lost your bag. Told you I didn't do it. And at least now you know who's at fault. My daughter, Katie. You can yell at her, scream at her. You deserve it. Go ahead, ma'am. Whenever you're ready. You dumb!